guys, it's Genevieve from the JJ Twins and today I am going to show you me kind of organizing my makeup drawers a little bit and also I'm going to show you my makeup collection. So if you want to see this video on my makeup, then just keep watching. So this is my first drawer. I'm going to kind of take everything out, clean it, maybe get rid of some things and then put everything else back. By the way, I have a toothbrush because I use this for my baby hairs. So this drawer is cleaned and somewhat organized. I'm not doing like super organized drawers. I'm just kind of making them neat. So this is how they came out so far. It's not perfect, but that's just how I wanted to organize it for now. Um, I will be having to clean out most of this stuff soon. So I didn't want to organize it too crazy, but that's the first drawer. This is the second drawer. I didn't really do much. All I did was wipe down the bottom. And these were already here pretty much. So yeah, this drawer is already pretty um, cleaned and organized. So it wasn't too much that I wanted to show you guys. But yeah, I just thought I might as well show you guys me somewhat organizing my makeup drawers. I have one, two, and then three. But this one is, I'm not really gonna organize today. This is some of my extra things and like q-tips, deodorant, that kind of stuff. 
So it is a little messy, but it's also kind of organized for the most part. So I'm just going to leave it how it is. Um, but yeah, um, I'm also going to show you guys some of my makeup in this video since it was really short. So I'm just going to pick out some of my favorite things and just show you what I have. So this Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette is Rose in the Air or Rosé in the Air. I really like this one. I haven't used it lately, but I really like the colors in it. It has a lot of browns, some orange, pink colors. So these are really good colors to use every day. I really like this palette. So that's that one. These ones I have too. These are pretty new. I haven't really used them that much yet, but these are, these are how they look. They're really pretty colors. It's by LA Girl. I got them from Ulta. And I have a couple like single eyeshadows, like a blue, purple, and stuff. But those, that's that. This is where I'm keeping my like eyebrow stuff. I do, I just did buy a new one of these recently. I'll show you that in another video because I did buy some makeup online. So I will do a video on that stuff, but yeah, a lot of these things I haven't used that often, but I'm going to use soon. This is a baked bronzer. It looks so pretty. And then this one I have used. It's another bronzer. let how it looks. And then, let's see. Okay. So this is where I keep like all my eyeshadow palettes and my highlighters. And then I have one of my lashes and eyelash glues here. And then I do have a bronzer right here. So let's see. I have this one, which I've showed in my highlight um, highlighter video. I've shown all of these in my highlighter video. If you guys want to go check them out. Um, yeah, I have a highlighter video showing all the highlighters that I have, which are all these. I really like all of them. And then my favorite one is the Becca one. But yeah, there's a lot of different options. So I already showed you guys that in the other video. But I just have them all here in the basket. And then these are my Tarte eyeshadow palettes. And then my Becca, um, it's like an eyeshadow blush and bronzer. So it's like eyeshadow, blush, bronzer all in one so I just keep that in here and then these are my palettes I love the packaging they're just so cute I believe they're like 40 bucks each or so but yeah I use this one all the time it's like my everyday eyeshadow that I use so I use this palette a lot I love like the packaging they're so so cute so these other Tarte palettes, I don't use as much as my Tarte Toasted palette. So, but they are still really pretty colors. And then this one's a nice one. It's so pretty. It's Aspen Ovard's Tarte Palette. And then it has um, a blush, a highlighter, and then some eyeshadows. Kind of more like on the natural side. But yeah, it's really, really pretty and has a big mirror. I love the packaging. It's so, so cute. Like the color and then the flowers. It's just nice. So those I have there. Those are all my Tarte ones that I own. And then back here I have like my Morphe palettes. It's just a regular Morphe Boss Mood palette. Beautiful colors. The Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Really pretty colors. I have so many palettes I still have to like try using more often because I I usually use this one for every day but once in a while I'll use other palettes. They all have different colors and pretty colors so this is not an eyeshadow palette this is a highlighter palette 
but I'll kind of show you how they look. They're so pretty. Super shiny. They're kind of like different. They like some pinks and stuff, so it's a little different for highlighters, but they're really nice. So I have that one. And then just the contour, a few different shades of contour colors. And then the James Charles palette, which I, I use a lot too, and I've already shown that in a lot of videos. So if you want to see like the, how the James Charles palette looks, then just go ahead and check on another video. Um, I, sh I use it a decent amount of times. So I want to take that one out. So I'm going to put these back. So I have the Kylie Jenner palette. I don't know what the name is. But I'm pretty sure this is more, I think it's like the burgundy palette or something. I don't know if it's a burgundy palette. I'm not sure what the name is, but these are the colors. Okay, and then I use this one a lot also. The Huda Beauty palette. I love the colors. And then Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. My last palette is this. It's just a Z palette from Ulta. And it only has four shades and it has all my ColourPop eyeshadows in here. It's a magnetized eyeshadow palette, which I've done a video on also. I took these out of the ColourPop like little container and I put all four of the colors here that I chose myself these were like single eyeshadows from Colourpop so they are in this little palette and that's the last palette that I have makeup so I have this pile of makeup that's like new and not used yet so I like to put these in the very last makeup drawer so yeah Kind of like a storage drawer. Also, I keep these down there. They're to like help shape your eyebrows and stuff like that. I usually store them down here as well. I'm not getting rid of too much makeup, but I already threw some makeup away. But these are also some makeup. These are also a couple makeup items that I'm going to be tossing in the trash. This one broke. I really like using it. It's not like old. It still works, but it broke and there's not much left. So I'm just going to toss it. This one I'm going to toss. And then this one's kind of older. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on my makeup. Um, if you enjoyed it, then please give it a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.